No, I, I kind of stopped worrying about that a long time ago. I remember when I was coming up on the East Coast, people would tell me stuff like that, like, you got to think about what the crowd is thinking. Now I'm just like, if, if you're passionate enough about something and you really care and you describe it clear enough, people will always rise to the occasion. But if you're always, if you're thinking beforehand of like, are they going to get what I'm talking about, then they're just going to, people are going to sense they're being either talked down to or that you are censoring yourself and it just doesn't make it as lively and fun. I think people are actually more drawn to the, you're in good hands with me, you're not going to get all this stuff immediately, but just come along and it'll all make sense at the end. Like, I'm just a big believer in that. But, you know, you go back to some of the you know, earlier <clears throat> stand-up. I think uh, audiences have always been equally receptive to, they've just, they're equally receptive to someone who is quietly confident and having fun in what they're doing. There's always been hacks who just want to follow formulas and, and don't trust their audiences, and there have always been people that really love what they're doing and just trust the audience is going to come along and get it. I mean, th that, that's been that way since time immemorial. I mean, if you look at, not to bring up Winston Churchill again, but his speech on June 4th, I think it was 1940, you know, he was surrounded by guys thinking, oh, we got to try to do like a... Uh, negotiated peace and let's think this through and what is the public thinking what are they and Winston just got up and said we're going to crush these guys I don't care what anyone thinks and people just rose to the occasion it's that idea now I'm not saying that what I'm doing I'm not rallying the country of Britain when I'm on stage at the chuckle bucket but I do well, I do want to borrow some of that energy of like you will go where I'm going we will all go there and you will figure it out and I'm not going to condescend to you and if you get left behind just, just hold Hold tight, it'll come back it's around. Like a comedian, um, it really has been since I started like my circle of friends. That is my biggest influence because I'm lucky enough that I'm not the funniest guy in my circle of friends, so that I'm always trying harder to be funnier. I, I think the worst thing in the world for a comedian or for anyone, if if you are in a circle of people and you're the best, then you're not going to grow. Like it's just gonna you're gonna atrophy. But I'm surrounded by people that are so much funnier and quicker than me that it just keeps my game up all the time. Isn't it funny?